overnight they break and i accepted then here this is the first time i, I want i'm about to do hook up for the first time i'm about to do hook up then here is what put what has cost me this condition i am now it is what has cost me this condition i am now for the first time people have been doing hook up and they have been going and be coming out successfully People have been going and becoming us successfully. My friends, my friend, have been doing it since for months, for years, to the point that I started smelling. Smelling, I, I was like, what's happening? From headache to pains, pains to smells, my pickles were smelling. What's up, guys? Is your girl Neye baby? So, guys, today. I have this lady here. There is something she would like to share with my audience. Guys, please, we have to be very fast with this video. This lady contacted me. Even I gave her address. If you see weather now, it's already 5.30. In fact, what's even the time? This is 5.40 p.m. And I can't tell her to go back. We have to hold this video. Because she really needs me to cover this video and share it for people to advise her and also pray for her please she needs our prayer okay my sis please just say your story the way you just explained to me over the phone just let's be very fast okay you can start please no, yeah. mm -hmm. i just pray i will have the strength to share this video this is my story from the beginning to the ending <sighs> Cause I'm just talking with just my let me not just say something negative because I just want to be positive that I will pass through this road, I will survive. Mm. This is my story. This is my story. This is my story I want to share. It's something I want a prayer from the community, not even an individual prayer. But I want the a, a communion community prayer as in I want people to join force and pray for me because I seriously need prayer. That is the stage I am now. Mm. This life no balance, so nene. Seriously, this life is no balance. I I think, in fact, not I think. In conclusion, this life only favor those that that dwells in the evil path, those that do evil things. It only profits them. The life does not pay the good ones. It does not pay the good ones. So this is my story I want to share for share to you and the audience. It's the story of my life and what kept me to this this situation I am, this condition I am right now. Hmm. This is my condition. I've been living my life well. Well, let me not say I will I regret coming to Lagos. But in everything I give God the glory. I'm just asking for God's mercy. And people's, you people's prayer will go a long way. I actually, I actually regret coming to Lagos because all the signs we are there for me not to be in Lagos State. I am a, a, a girl of 27 years. I graduated at the age of, I graduated at the age of 24 years. I'm a graduate with second class upper. After graduating three years ago, I tried looking for job everywhere. I looked for job, I looked for job. Job was not forthcoming. Job was not forthcoming. I just have to make do with teaching job. That is what was rampant in my area. Just for me to survive and eat as a graduate I am. But on getting this job, um, they uh, they agreed to offer me the salary of 20,000 Naira. Hmm. My people, 20,000 Naira for a graduate. Where will, it, where will it take me to? Is it in feeding? But I just agreed to take it based on there was no job. I've been looking for jobs since and I've not been able to see. I collected this job, but this teaching job was so stressful. When I say so stressful, I mean stressful. And as a private school, you, you, oh God, man. I just pray uh, I'll be able to finish my story because. Just manage, just manage, continue, manage. Because I'm just, I just pray God to give me the strength. Because this teaching job, hmm, 
private schools can utilize someone they can overuse someone this school gave me three classes to be teaching and despite the three classes they still gave me three subjects to be teaching these three different classes also and you will teach you will write lesson notes you will mark and the population in the classes are much for just me for how much for twenty thousand naira hmm. at first i was asking myself can i cope with this money but what could i do i have no choice than to be managing it even to eat was a problem from that money to eat very well because at that point my family people were my mother was expecting me to be supporting the family to be bringing money to assist but to feed if they don't even feed me again they stopped feeding me they felt i have gotten a job it's only sometimes if i leave the house if i issue if i'm able to see food that is left in the pot i will just eat more so, okay let me just save money food money that food is what i will eat and i will not eat again see you i close from the school my people suffer hmm. as well though i suffer though with twenty thousand naira i will keep my i will starve myself from that morning till 5 30 i will close from the school till i get home before i will eat i will be hungry with the three class three arms of classes i am teaching with the strenuous work i do do you know what teaching job is now teaching job is all about talking and you have to talk with your strength for you to drive home your point for the people to the people you are teaching to understand what you are saying some children will ask you questions this one will ask you because they are understanding the what your topic from different direction and different pace we have fast learners middle learners and slow learners you and you must please all of them and with this when the school closes we will still do lesson and this thing is with strength imagine someone that has not eaten i know that i cannot eat but i'm trying to manage the twenty thousand naira just for me sometimes say if i said i don't want to eat for two weeks if i manage this twenty thousand naira in two weeks the money has finished imagine me that does not used to spend um, extravagantly but i will manage our money but it cannot sustain me for no more than two weeks i will start sometimes i have to skip meals in order to extend that salary twenty thousand naira till month end before another one will come one thing that is helping me is they are giving us less money additional five thousand naira for the, the the people we are the children in the school that we are teaching they contribute extra lesson money at the end of it they will share it even the owner of the school and the hm that, that don't, they, they don't used to teach with us the teachers but at the end of it they will share it and give us peanuts and give us five thousand naira to add to the twenty thousand naira imagine a graduate but what could i do so total of how much twenty five thousand naira okay. Twenty five thousand naira. Imagine in this our world now, what can that sustain someone till month ending? And your family members are looking at you. Your mother is counting that she has gotten a graduate that will assist her. Ha! Ah, but I keep managing it, looking for better, greener pasture. But it was not forthcoming. I complained to the school. Hi, Naya. I complained to the school about the money, which they told me that I have to work for like six, seven or to one year before they can increase it. And even though they want to increase the money, they, they will just only increase it with at least 10,000 naira, if I thought it would reach you, for it to be uh, my salary, 30,000 naira. Then added, then plus the 5,000 naira less in money, everything might just be 35,000. So that one is if I work up to one year additional before they can increase it by 10,000 to make it 35, 30,000 basic salary plus less than money, 5,000. Hmm. I was still hoping for the better as I was hoping, impatient, impatient, eh? not being contented with life. I was busy. 
I now thought of my friend, my departmental friend in the school those days. This my departmental friend. We are not close though because they are the senior babes. They are the high class ladies in my department those days. So I, who, who bomb me to even near their 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 link? Their league is high girls. You know what they call babes? We we are baby. They are babes. So the way they live their lifestyles, the way they do their things, you know that they are classic babes in school those days. But because I was not contented with what I was earning and I need to make money in this my life. And I told myself, I don't make up. Wait till I gain. Wait till I gain if I did this life finish and not make money. So I was just looking for greener pasture everywhere. The only thing I now did was to contact that my departmental friend. I didn't even mind if we were in the same level or not. But I know as a hot babe where she be, that she was when we were in school, that she would be running things wherever she was. And now, wherever she was, and now remembered her, got her contact from my phone. I contacted her and she was at Sepota Court. That was where she was based, running her things there. And she was doing well for herself also with the little things she was doing. So as I called, I told her that, please, if there is job opening at Sepota Court, I'm tired in this furniture I am. As doing this, my mini teaching job here. Sorry, you were in Onicha before? Yes, that was where I was. Okay. So the I... teaching work is in Onicha? Yes. The teaching work is at Onicha. Oh, yeah, so I now told her, if she can help me with jobs at Portacourt, Portacourt is an open place. I know this oil money is full of big men and big jobs. If, if you should get a job there, you should be any better. But she told me there is no job here, or that there is no job. So when I now told her that I see, she see, she should let me know. She said okay. I waited for her one week. As a as a babe she is now, she must have connection. I was like before one week, two weeks, she will contact me for a job opening. I waited, Nene. I waited. No, she didn't come. I didn't hear from her. One month passed. Two months passed. Ah, I said no. What I don't pass, Gary. Let me call her. Now this my friend is not that type. She's she knows people. She's connected as a big, big, uh, classic girl now. And I called her. She now told me that there's no job yet, though. That if she, that in fact, as a matter of fact, that she wants to move to Lagos, Lagos State. That one of her friends called her also and told her that there's a job. That right now there's a job at Lagos. So she wants to relocate from Porter Court to Lagos State for the job that the friend told her. So when she go, she wants to go and do the job there. Immediately, I did not hesitate to tell her. I told her that when she goes, and if they need another person to do the job, that she should not forget her French, which is me. She should please call me. That I will hurriedly come down to Lagos. That I need a job, that this job I'm doing at Onicha. Ah, the money is not reaching anywhere, and the stress is more than the money. The stress is not here. Ah, I don't have. You will write lesson notes. You will get tired. You will not sleep. Is it the children you will face wahala in the class or what? Mm. And I thought that if she see the job, she should let me know. She now said okay. At that though, I was still expecting a call while I was still on my with my job at Onicha managing it. And me and the hungry strike was still going on, trying to manage my money so that I would not go and steal my 25,000 naira. To the point that even when the children are eating, taking their lunch, their break time, eating food, hmm, nene, I don't see shege for this life where I come. Now, so I go, they look at them, I will be hungry, tempted to go and take their food or their snacks. But when I want to do that, I'll say, no, I cannot do that. I'll just talk to myself. I said, if I should go and do this thing now, these children might shout. How do you want to take our stuff for all? They might even go and complain to their parents. And their parents might come with fights and complain to the school owner and say, a hey, teacher, ah, it won't tell good of me. So at that point, when they are eating and I'm tempted to eat because I'm hungry, I will be hungry from morning I came till 5.30, I will close. I will be teaching, let me know what I was passing through. My body will be shaking. Because I want to manage that money. 
So I will not leave the children. No. I will just tell myself, these thoughts get behind me. Let me just be managing myself than to be embarrassed by their parents, by the children, and by the school owners. And even by my colleagues, they will hear it and laugh at me. I say, what kind of woman being is this? Is it only you that have problems? You know the same salary that they are giving us? Why can't I manage? Hmm. I will be bearing it. I beard and beard and beard. I was still waiting for my friend to call me. To call me. Ha. I waited one month past. She did not call. I quickly pick up my phone again. And I called her. I didn't even know that God was trying to, to warn me. Oh, my God. Every one of us should just pray for the spirit of hearing. We should be hearing God's voice. We should pray that the handwriting of God, anytime he's writing to us, we should be understanding it when things are happening. Well, then you know all this delay and my friends, not my friend not calling me. It's for me not to fall into what I am now. <laughs> my people, the condition I am here is not palatable. I seriously need prayer, community prayer, not individual. <laughs> God was warning me. God was holding me. <laughs> God was holding me, warning me seriously, but I did not hear. I kept that demand. My friend did not call me for one month. I called her again. I said, ah, babe, what is happening now? You are in Lagos. And you have not called me since then, unlike you. That was when she told me. <laughs> she said, the job is available. They still need people, but it's not the kind of job that you, that me, I will be able to do. Why did she say so? Because she knows when we are in school. I am not this kind of... The life she's living is not the kind of life that I'm living. He knows I live a... I'm not perfect, but I live a sincere life. And then in school, she was doing all these um, ushering jobs. She goes to parties. She's just activities girl. She just likes socialization. So that's a type of person. So she now told me that, babe, I cannot do this job. Oh, that there's a job. Oh, why? That's why she did not call me. When, when she got to Lagos. And I said, what kind of job? This is her exact words she told me. She said, the job is the job that you will come to a club in a hotel. He said, if they pay daily. This daily job they pay, they pay, work the work three times in a week, which is Friday to Sunday. And each day they used to pay 25,000 Naira. And for that three days, they will pay me They'll pay them 75,000 naira. But it entails you dancing. Dancing every... And it's not a full day job, oh, those three days. Oh. That is every evening you come to that club in a hotel. You will dance and they will give you all these bikini clothes. Sometimes they might even give you things like all these swimming trunk and the rest for you to put on. You, you know those kind of dressing now for you to attract men, entertain them while you are dancing. And she even um, exaggerates it by telling me that she emphasizes it by telling me that if I should be dancing, you will make sure that all your body will be shaking. That when the men that are there sees you, they will be tempted to torch. They can even empty all their accounts in that hotel to make sure they buy things as in it just to keep them engaged them. So that they'll keep buying, drinking, buying, drinking, bringing all their money out. That is the aim of the hotel people. They just want to be using we, the ladies, to engage them and get more money from them. And that is why they want to be paying us for this half hour work, 25,000 25, naira, for the three days, 75,000 naira. When she said that money, I had not a full day job. Half day, 25,000. Hmm. Oju Kokoro. Oh, Jesus. As I heard it there, eh, my, my, my mind just like over sweet, like as if they pour sugar in my tummy. I was like, my ear was like 75,000 naira for three days. Hmm. I thought myself, what am I not doing in Onicha here? I told that my friend, please, I'm interested. She still warned me oh, that I cannot do it though, that I'll be ne as in half neck and be dancing but i just told her my dear we are talking about money here i need to make this money i need to make this money that was the drive 
that was the drive, the root of what is what? Mm -hmm. Money is the root of all evil. That money was what gingered me, the 75,000 Naira, because since I graduated, I have not earned 30,000 Naira, not talk of 50,000 Naira, and now I'm hearing 75,000 Naira, and not a food, not a weekly, just three days job, and I will not say that I will not do it. She said, you cannot do it, or she still emphasized on that. I told her, don't worry, I will do it as far as the money is involved. She said, okay, no problem. I did not tell my mom that I was living on each other. I, I packed myself and my baggages. I quickly, I quickly took the available moto to Lagos State. Immediately, I went and squat, squatted with my friend. Two of us were living in a house. Hmm. Immediately I arrived, she took me out the evening that day I arrived um, around the afternoon. She took me in the evening to the place and showed the man. The man saw me immediately and said, Ha, ah, that me I fit in for the job, oh. that me I'm a fine babe, that yes, I can do it. And me being that I'm chubby, I have body, I have the bum bum, I, uh, I have the body, I have the back, the back, back side, I have the front side, and I'm fine. The man now say yes, I can do the job. That my friend said no problem. So with hope that my friend has told me everything about the job, the man gave me the job, and that was how I started. I still stayed though till um, the weekend, which is Friday. I came to work in that evening. I did the stuff. I I danced the Saturday the same thing. You dance all night till daybreak entertaining the people that are coming to the to the um, um, club which we did we were dancing dancing shaking our body enticing them they did that to the thoughts on Sunday we finished and we went home on getting home exactly around some minutes past 9 a.m. in the morning I saw my money at 75,000 naira as in no deduction they sent it without delay. I was so excited because I've never earned that kind of money in my account since Three I graduated. Days, 75,000. Yes, Nayel. Just Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yes, Nayel. 75,000. Yes, so 75,000 Naira. Continue, mm -hmm. please. So immediately I saw it. I was so happy. I said, wow, is this money? I was so happy. So. As I was happy, immediately they sent the money. It was not quite long. I got a call, and it was a complaint call from the manager of that um, hotel that we went for club to dance. He started querying me fast. Not just query, but my job was terminated instantly. After paying me, they just like see if they paid me off and say, take this money and don't come back again. What was my reason? What did I do? What was my offense? I asked the man, he said that he got a lot of complaints that weekend I worked for three days and that was my first work with them that week. That he got the complaint that most of the men were complaining, not even most of all the men that came across with, across me, they were like saying if they touch me because their, their aim was if we are dancing, the men should have access to us, the dancers, they should be able to touch us to an extent they should be able to feel us a bit and we should not have any right of rejection we should not query them or shun them or shout at them now that is why they are making that is where they are making their money we are like a selling point to them in that um in that club so they used us to make more money from their customers so the man was shouting at me the manager is it that the person that brought me to the job did not tell me everything about the job and what it entails. He was seriously shouting that no, 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 no. If I'm, in fact, I should go. There are many people looking for the job, then they will give it to people and the rest. Now, no, 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 no. Now, my job there is that once I'm dancing and people are, the men are touching me to, a, to an extent, I should be able to accept it without complaint. As the man finished the call, I wanted to talk or apologize. After saying his own, he has to cut the call. In fact, he even made it 
in a way to tell me not to even resume that next week again. Uh -uh. They sack you immediately. Immediately, or they just paid me off. And when he finished, I now thought of it. I said, eh? This 75,000 Naira I got, is it what I will play with? What are they not touching and what are they touching? My dear, I told myself immediately I reset myself, reset my brain off. They will not touch me. I told myself, if they want to touch, let them touch. As far as I'm getting the money, see how evil communication corrupts good manners. Even, even evil com company has corrupted me. That is why I said this life no balance. So this life does not favor the good ones. It does not favor the good ones. So I have entered the hand of not thinking if what I'm about to do is okay or not. Hmm. I now told my call my friend immediately. My friend now told me that the manager too called her and told her that I should tell me not to resume back there again. So I now told my friend, please, can you please help me and plead? to the manager because i was trying to call the manager back but the manager was not eager to pick my call to a point she, she was he was cutting my call busy in it so i now called my friend to please help me and beg my the manager my friend was able to plead to the manager on my behalf pleaded and pleaded she pleaded and pleaded and pleaded before the manager now um, accepted and told her to that they have considered me back that i should resume so my friend now warned me now and told me that I should be very careful. Except I don't want the job, oh, that she told me that I cannot do this job before. But I said I would do it because of the money involved. That since I've accepted it, that this is what the job description is. I should just take the job with good faith. And I told her that I'm ready to do and comply with any rules and regulation. And which she said, no problem. Now, yeah, that was how I went for the second, the second week ago. Oh, job there for three days again huh. i said if i continue this job for two three months i will know how much if i can do this job for three days in a week 75 in a month if i should do this in three weeks uh -uh. what are we not saying we're talking about uh, money that is 200 and something not talk of one month two months or even three to four months i can save now and i'm not the type that live extravagant life i don't spend money like that i i can save and I told myself, I can just do this work for a while, save, then stop. That was my aim. So, the second week, we went again for the job after she has finished pleading to the manager. We went to and do the job again for the second week, and I was paid. Okay, before I went for the second week, I... Before then, I have to ask my friend, my friend, that where she always stay because I don't used to see her at home. You hardly see her at home. Since this job is weekend job, three times a week, Friday to Sunday, I was not asking her, babe, I don't used to see you Monday, even to sleep. Someone that work from evening to daybreak, she does not used to stay at home and sleep. Me, I know when I come back on Sunday. I have to sleep good sleep on Monday. Sometimes the sleep will still be catching me till Tuesday. I have to sleep. I will not go anywhere. Because you can't cheat nature. Where you will stay, if night you are supposed to sleep, you are busy dancing in the club, shaking all your body. Shaking all your body. Which exercise is more than dancing? No one. But you will shake and shake in dancing. You will jump up. You will twerk. You will whine. You will do everything. You will bend down low. Ha. Huh? And I say, after we finish doing this thing for three days, my body used to still tell me, nothing is easy in this world, though. To make money is not easy. But this one is more easier than the teaching job. Because you are seeing what you are working for. Unlike the teaching job at Onicha, which I was doing, I will work and work and work. What is 25,000 Naira? With the children's stress. But this one is three days and it's half day. So I will still sleep on Monday. I will, sometimes I will sleep on Tuesday. I will not go anywhere. But this my friend will just come back. Sometimes say from the clubbing, she will go out from there and tell me, baby, we'll see, we'll see. She will not come back home. I'll be asking myself, what kind of um, person is this one, Jackie? And go, I can't keep asking her. So that, where do you normally, where do you normally go? You hardly stay at home. She then told me that, ah, babe. There are so many things um, um, that this job is. There's so there are more to the job that I don't know. That she used to still do the job now. That's the same place we used to go for um, clubbing. 
Now she used to have contacts there and go. Now that one is even the big job. Now that clubbing we are doing is a smaller part or version of it. That is from that clubbing. The only time we go there, as we are dancing, we are dancing that some guys that want you just come and write number. She was not asking me. That that day I went to that place. Is it that no one gave me contact? Mm -hmm. That was when my mind now flashed back. I, I know that. I now remember that some guys gave me contact. But I did not even understand. I just fling the thing immediately because that first week I was just annoyed. I was just there for just the morning. But if they want to touch me like this, so my body will just be inching me. Pinch, I'll just be annoyed. Like, why would they be touching me anyhow? So when they bring number, I will not even look at the paper, what they wrote on the paper, I will just throw it away. So I now flash back and now remembered that, okay, it's contact that we are giving me. She now told me, yes, that as we are dancing, anyone that likes you will just write their number on a sheet of paper and fold it and come close to you and give it to you with your name. Then if you like the man, the guy, if you look at him that he looks like someone that will, that will have money, that is wealthy. When you get home after the three days uh, working, dancing in the club, you call the person. If you like the person, no, you now call the person. If you have finished assessing that this person might have small dough, you call the person and say, Alpha. So the person will now tell you what he wants. Because for the person to have written his number means he wants two of you to run things. And when he tell you, you call the person, the person will tell you if you want short time or full time or full day, depending what he wants. And you will charge the person on phone. If the person agrees, agree, you will go and meet the person and the person will pay you. That was when she started telling him. Hmm, hmm. And I know that uh, this Lagos, we have Lagos, babe. I will have, we'll have high class Lagos, babe. That was when I knew that. Uh, all the babes are not equal. That this, my friend, is really high-class babe. Hey, to be a Lagos person, no easy. To survive here, no easy. You need to meet up some level of standard like her. And I say, eh? So there is more to this job. She say, yes, yeah, so that's the main job, not even the clubbing thing. That that clubbing is for you to go and have contacts. Make contacts that will give you better money. Now, sometimes you might have someone giving you one million. Some of the guys will even give you, if it's short time, they will even give you 70, 150. Some will even give you 200, depending on your bargaining power with the person. Some will even give you one million or more. Depending what how you people bargain, you might meet one that is from away, away guy that have this money, doesn't know what to do with it. And luck might just shine on you. You will just transfer money to your account. So after she gisted me, I say, eh, am I here to can't bridge? And I told her, beg, show me the way. I begged her. She said, okay, no problem. The next time I go, the clubbing, the clubbing dancing, that I will, me, myself, I will first of all write some contacts, three or four contacts. I will put it on my body. Then if I see any guy, I spot any guy that I feel that I like and that has money, I will just take it and drop for the guy. Then if the guy wants me, I'll write him as I'm dropping it, I'll write my price. Short time, full time, full day. I'll write my amount there. What I what I accept, I can accept from them. I'll write it and give to them with my phone number and my name. Then the guys go. They might if from that place they will call you. You pull, if they call you, you answer and negotiate. Sometimes people you drop contact with might not be the ones that call you. The ones that some of them will even come to you as you are dancing stylishly, they will still give you their own contact. It's a two-way thing. Either they call you or you call them. That was how she told me. I said I am in, you know, ah, I need to jam and jam and here and here, anywhere where the money they from, they come. Let me add to the one I have, the 75,000 Naira. Hmm. That was it, oh. Oh, my God. <sighs> Oh my God. So that was just how she told me. Oh, then for the second time, and I went for the club for the second week. And we were dancing, 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 dancing. Then two guys, I, one person was the only one that gave me contact. Okay, two guys gave me contact. The other one, 
after the three days dancing i went home i wanted to call the other second one one of the number was not complete instead of it being 11 it was 10 digits 10 digits so i could not call that one because the number was not complete he omitted one number then the other guy number was complete the first person that gave me his contact i called him he answered me and we talked and he told me to meet him somewhere he gave me an appointment we negotiated and he agreed for one fifty thousand, and he said it's um um, um today break overnight today break and i accepted and he said it's 150 and my this is the first time i, I want i'm about to do hook up for the first time i'm about to do hook up nene is what put what has cost me this condition i am now it is what has cost me this condition i am now for the first time people have been doing hook up and they have been going and be coming out successfully people have been going and be coming out successfully my friends my friend have been doing it since for months for years and she have been so for months and she have been succeeding I now did my this is the first time I did my own and I never see I never saw it coming. I never saw it coming that this is where it will land me to. From club you enter a hookup. Yes. From club and this is the first time I'm about to do it. The man said it's one fifty after negotiation. When my friend came back I told her. She told me yes that the money is okay, that I should go. So I and the man had this appointment. I now went to meet him. So as I was going that day, you know, it's in the evening. He sent me the address. So as I wanted to go, I forgot to charge my phone. My phone went off. I still did not read the handwriting on the wall. On the wall. I did not know that God was trying to pass a message to me to save my life, my soul. I did not know that. The battery was off since and there was light in my house. From morning till evening there was light before I left. But as soon as I did not remember, but as soon as I wanted to go out, Nepal took the light. And that was when I remembered that my phone I was supposed to charge. And as I looked, I just let me check the address. The phone went off. I could not even pick the address. Ah. And I said, okay, let me just dress up. When I go out, I will look for a way to charge it. On my way to the place, I got, I don't really, I know the guy told me the address, but the main, the exact place, I don't know. So I stopped at a point where I felt this should be the location of the place he had, he, he directed me to. I saw a provision shop. I have to go there. I begged the woman there that please can they have lights if i can plug my phone and she agreed i have to charge my phone there i plugged the phone i charged a bit and i collected i wrote out the address then i have to call the guy that i'm around the area i'm almost there which he said no problem I, and he sent me the room number and i went to the hotel and saw him man when I got there, I saw the guy. If you see him, you know that this guy is really in money. He was sweet, but I never knew what was about to be for me. I went, and the game started. We went into what brought me there, and it, you have, we already have this sort of this, um, agreement that it should be all night. But to my greatest surprise, we just had two rand. He had a call, a business called, call from his business partner friend. And which he told me that sorry that we can't um, stay till for all night a day break. So he promised you one hundred and fifty thousand for that night. Yes, for for a full night a day break. But when he had this business call, he said it's very urgent. After how many rounds? Two rounds. He now told me to go. Ah, when he said so, I was even afraid. I thought he would not pay me complete. I thought he would not pay me the money complete. So he still gave me, I just saw him, he asked for my account number. I gave, I, I told him, he sent me the 150,000 naira completed, complete, and even added 20,000 naira transportation fare, uh, fare to me, which is 170. I was like amazed. I was like, wow, is this money? He told me I can go, no problem. 
that he has to go and attend the business emergency meeting. And I had appreciated him and I left. So no knowing unknowing to me that this fine guy that is Hooj I met was a Yahoo Plus guy. Hmm. Oh God. God oh, God should take us away from evil, oh, my people. God should please take us away from let's let's um I am not being contented, not put us into where we are not supposed to be. God should not allow Oju Kokoro to eat us up in our life. That is what has kept me here, put me in this condition. <laughs> so, I now left. I got home that night. After two days, I started feeling strange headache from nowhere. All my body somehow started paining me. The next thing was headache. I was like, ah, could it be the dance we danced? That, that weekend, shaking all our body, could it be the pains? From headache, it went to my abdomen, abdomen, the, the damn part of my tummy. I was like feeling because we are twerking, twerking, dancing, dancing. I felt it was the dancing, clubbing thing. I never knew something else was going on on my body. Okay, my sis, please try and round up. Do you get? The smell is too much. Um... In fact, I'm losing it. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Nay. I'm sorry. Just this is I what I'm passing up. through. Even my friend have left me. This is my friend that I came to Lagos to do. He has even left me. He left the room with for me and oh, I try. can't even find me. Just, just try and round up. What later happened? What happened? So, so the man, I know after the pains, I went to pharmacy. They gave me drugs. I drank the prastamol. Everything pain subsided. After two, three days again, it came back again. I was still thinking it was pain. I still drank Prastamol to the point that I started smelling. Smelling, I, I was like, what was happening? From headache to pain, pain to smells. My pickles were smelling. Even me myself cannot behold the smell. My friend was like, what is happening? What is wrong with me? We went to a test. We did infection, general infection test. They could not find anything. Later, but they will definitely find one or two things. You know, whenever you do general infection test, they'll tell you one this and that. They gave me antibiotic. I drank, I drank, not, not strong, strong antibiotic that have even shrink me. <laughs> I'm this, I'm very, very uh, 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 plumply woman being born now. I am everywhere, my backside, everywhere I've dried up. This is when I know that those that are fat, that want to lose weight, if they want to lose weight, hey, this is where I know that sickness like this can, can drill somebody, can make somebody to be slim. All you know, those people looking for weight loss, they can be slim within within one day with this kind of my sickness. See me now. <laughs> so you are bigger than like this before. Bigger than this. I am bigger than this. I am big. This is what one fifty thousand, maybe one seventy thousand. I've brought, I've, I've brought me to. So now was it all? After everything, they could not, they said this infection, they gave me a strong antibiotic, I drank. Antibiotic is still part of the thing that drew me like this. The smell was still coming after drinking every antibiotic. After our treatment, I went to doctor, they said, this doctor, if you go, no matter what your sickness is, he will cure you. I went, doctor did everything, I'm still smelling. My friend now suggested I should be boiling hot water. You know all this hot water that pre people that just deliver used to boil and stew themselves. They will sit and do stooling. stooling. That was what I used to do. Anytime I do it, that was my remedy. It will sustain me for a day or two days, the smell will not come. After two to three days, the smell will come back. So I will boil the hot water, I will put salt, I will sit on it, and it used to be painful. Ah, I've seen things in my life. I have seen things in this my life. It used to be painful, the smoke. I will sit there. It will now subside the, pay, the smell. I will not be able to go out and look for solution. I was going to church to church, looking for prayers everywhere, even online. I was following anyone that says that, that is praying. I'll be saying amen. Even pastors, herbalists, that's when I know that TikTok or Facebook or social media, you will see herbalists on social media. I was following them up. I was following them up, doing this stuff. To the point that one, I said I should send money to her. I sent 
50,000 naira to this uh, woman, pastor uh, woman on the social, on TikTok. She says she will deliver me. After sending that money, she will pray for me and this and that. As I sent the money, I could not get her again. I called and called, the line could not go. That was when I stopped listening to any of them. But if they are still praying online, on social media, I keep following them, answering amen, amen, amen. But what is still crying in me is still crying. I am still smelling, getting worse and worse and drying up. And my heart will be doing as if you want to fail me. I will just say my breath will be seizing. My breath will be seizing till my friend even have to leave the house for me. Nene. I said this smell is too much. At this point, that was when my mother and I heard that I left Onicha uh, to Lagos. She was not blaming me. Why did I leave Onicha to Lagos to do what without telling her? Whereas she's the one that's been disturbing me. Now all my mates have gotten married and I'm here. She will be expecting me to bring money. I was trying to make money for her and myself and my support her, the family. And she was not blaming me. Every time she be telling all my mates I've gotten married. When she said this kind of thing, she used to pay me. So she was not blaming me. Why did I live on the Chateau Lagos? So I stayed. I was still looking for help. When my friend left me, it was one of my friends, one of my neighbors that would cook and give her children to come and give to me to eat. I could not even do anything to go outside to even buy things. I could not, not talk of cooking. It was one of my neighbor before she took me to her pastor. But before she took me there, uh, there somebody have taken me to one church. And the pastor said that was when I now knew what is wrong with me. The pastor now told me that somebody have exchanged my life for for money. That is the Yahoo guy. That guy I met was a Yahoo guy plus. That she used my pecos myself and the rest to make money for himself. That was when I now remember my mind has not even gone to the man. That was when I now remember the guy. I say what? Jesus. All this why I thought it was just the dance or my village people. So that guy you slept with Yes, so you mean that guy? Yes, that guy that gave me one fifty plus twenty thousand naira tea fair. That was, my mind has not even gone there, yeah? My mind did not even reach there till when we went to church. The pastor now said it was that guy I slept with that he has exchanged my soul, my body, my destiny for money. That was when I now said, What? What is this? Now the man prayed and prayed and did everything. It looks as if the thing now stopped. It stopped a bit, but it was not disturbing me that much. But it is still doing me. But I was still, but everything just reduced. If not, then I won't even be able to come out and come and share this story. But I just um, summoned courage and said, let me just come out, even though it's the last thing I will say for people to hear and help me with their prayers. Even though I don't make it, I at least their prayer will make me not to go to hell fire. It will make me to, when they ask for mercy on my behalf, I'll be Nothing will happen to you in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Please, what are you doing um, about this smell? This, I've been trying my best to even that my neighbor that used to cook for me. She has taken me to her own pastor, and her pastor said the same thing, exactly what that woman, that other pastor said. And we have been on prayer, but I, I just found out that the prayer is not effective and what is still doing me is doing me that's why i said let me share this i need community prayer i need chain prayer different people's prayer in fact if all the world can pray for me i think it's not individual prayer that my body did because i am my breath is seizing just stay to just i'm losing it gradually i need the people your audience please they should pray for me and yeah people should pray for me i need the world to pray for me what people will go and do it's just once I went and did this hookup. My friend has been going, doing it, and she has been coming back successfully. It just was. Now, it just was. I don't know why this life don't favor good person. Please, if people should help me with prayers. That is why I'm here to share.
hear it. Your prayers and also for people to learn that contentment is good in this life. That people should be contented with what they have. That it better you do legitimate something, something that is good. Put your hand there and God will bless the works of our hands. Then we sowing our hands with things that is not pleasing God. This is why the reasons why I said, let me share my story. The major thing I said, let me share this story is for you people to pray for me. I don't know what to do or if you people have any powerful person that can deliver me from this smell. And even myself is smelling me. My nose, if I try to cover it, the hand I'm using to cover it is still smelling the nose I want to cover. I am losing it. Please, the people of this world, help me. Now help me to beg your people. All right. Please help me, please. Please, please, please. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. People are going to pray for you. People will pray for you. Don't worry. All right, guys. Please, let's pray for her. Let's pray for her. If you can see, this was the chair I brought for her. So she can sit down. Then I will cover the video board. She says she can't even sit down. That her waist is paining her. And the smell is too much. Please, I want to quickly round up this video. Uh, it's not me that is here again. It's is just smelling like, do you know what? The pap, as in pap that spoiled. To me, oh, my observation. You know that pap? Pap that has stayed for like maybe one month without preservation. Pap. The thing is smelling like that. Very bad odor is coming out from her. I don't know. Just calm down. I'm even scared. Calm down. Just relax. We are taking drugs, right? Yes. Uh, the drugs is, looks as if it's not working. No. By God's grace, the, the drugs are going to work out. <laughs> Parents are not even encouraging their children these days again. Once you finish um, university, they expect you to start working and be getting millions. It's very unfair. It's very, very unfair. I have to see now whether has changed. Let me check time. This is almost to seven. I'm still covering this video. Unlike me, by this time, I don't cover video again. But because she has come and she don't want, I wouldn't want her to go like this now. So guys, please, let's join hands together and pray for her according to her. This is just the first time she's trying the hookup. As in, she don't know that she has entered a Yahoo guy plus trap. The guy just used to her. But we pray that whatever this guy did with her, 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 her life, according to her, the, the guy, pastor said the guy changed her life with money. We cancel all their evil plans. Please, young ladies out there, be careful. Be careful to avoid something like this. We cover her with the blood of Jesus. No confession against her shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. For God to keep her alive till today, nothing will happen to her. God just wants her to use her to teach others lesson. I strongly believe that she's going to survive it. It's just, in fact, this is her final bus stop. God is going to heal her. Okay, what did the pastor told you? I want to understand. The pastor said I should just be steadfast in my prayers. I should just ask for God's mercy. I should keep praying. The pastor said I should be prayerful. That I'm even lucky that I reached this day. That I have few days. I just have few days or weeks to live. That I should be prayerful that I, sust I pass those days and still live on. That is by the mercy of God I can survive this. I should be prayerful. Few days is left for me. Please. Nothing will happen to you. <laughs> Nothing will happen to you. Nothing will happen to you. And the pastor that is giving you this message, saying that you have few few days, the pastor is telling you you have few days. What kind of fear is the man of God putting in you? The man of God is supposed to pray for you. I'm not telling you, you you have only few days to live. No, no, no. That word is not encouraging now. It's not encouraging. Guys, please, if this is the only thing you can do for her, I would not like to hear bad news. I would not like to hear anything bad. I will always keep in touch with her. If that one prayer is, is something you can do for her, please, just say a word of prayer with your heart. Just cry to God on behalf of her. Let's save a life. Please, if this is the only thing you can do for her, let's save a life, please. Thank you guys for your time, for watching this video. And also, 
I hope that many people are going to pray for her. And she's going to live and give testimony in this my platform. Thank you, guys. And also, don't forget to share this video, guys. Thank you.